That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the forced applause. Uh, we are in front of a live studio audience in Los Angeles, California, right here live. That's right. Oh, no sound. Hold on. They missed everything that I said. That's okay. Can you guys hear me now? Are we good? Can you hear me now? It says leftist audio. No sound. We're good audio? Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good on audio. Hey, all right, round of applause. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much. This uh, broadcast is generously powered by Cash App. Thank you so much, Cash App. We are here to roast Mr. Hassan Piker, everybody. And he's here. Hassan, turn around. Oh. <laughs> All right, actually, he's right over here. Let's bring him in. Let's bring, let's bring Hassan in. All right, what are you, what are you doing, dude? Yeah. What are you doing? All right, all right, give me my. <laughs> Can we get some more volume over here? Wait, they're more excited for us. Than yeah, I know they were. <laughs> all right, okay. sit on down, Hassan. On, let me pull this out. You look great, by the way. Thank you. Give it up for the drip for Hassan. <laughs> okay. The applause is waning. We need some intense applause. Okay. All right. Welcome, everybody. As I said, we are here to roast my good friend, Hassan Piker. Uh, I've gathered a group of streamers here uh, that will make you say, wow, will Twitch standards ever stop dropping? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, our star tonight is Hassan Piker, right here. Uh, Twitch streamer, political commentator, journalist, Oops. and producer. Hassan is a... <laughs> <laughs> Hassan is a man... No, not yet. That's not the joke yet. That's not the joke. That's not the joke. Woo. Hassan is a man of many talents. I actually thought he had an ASMR channel, too, but when I was researching for this joke, I just found out it's just his GTA RP content that's been putting me to sleep. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Bullshit. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I like to imagine what a streamer might be doing with their life if they hadn't blown up on Twitch. And with Hassan, the answer is simple. Porn star. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, he's attractive, but he's also got links in the industry. And after seeing clips of him attempting to act in the short film The Gym, I think his acting abilities would make him fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> Hassan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we have cue cards for the audience to make sure. All right, Hassan, thanks for being here. I hope we were able to put on a great show tonight. I mean, if the roast does come crashing down. <laughs> if the roast does come crashing down. If the roast does come crashing down, Hassan will just say that we deserved it. <laughs> that was good. All right. All right. We have our first guest of the evening. So, Chad, I want to I brief you real quick. We originally were going to do this all remotely, but on a whim, we decided to get everybody in person. But there's a couple of people, a couple of roasters that couldn't make it in person, one of which is uh, a fan favorite, and that's Candyland. Candyland could not make it today <laughs> because she's all the way she's all the way in Sweden, but she has uh, been so gracious to send in a video remotely. Uh, and I will for, uh, um, uh, foreshadow this with she has written all her own jokes. So, oh, no. Um, Candyland is up first, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce her. Candyland. It's going to be like ripping off. Hello, of yeah. everybody, and hello, Austin. Thank you so much for inviting me to your show. Even though I couldn't be there physically or barely virtually, it's okay. So, <laughs> where did you like to invite me to your show to be the dumb blonde? But really, who's the dumb one here? Is it me? Or is it the guy who thought he was really fooling people into thinking he wasn't gay? Really, Austin. Because you were inviting <laughs> 10 beautiful women on your show every week. And the only person who was talking more about dick than me, that was you. <laughs> so, yeah. It speaks for itself. But if that wasn't clear enough, I think the fact, I'm sorry, but the fact that you show as cute as Cinderella was. I used to be so excited every week. 
like when Austin would invite me to the Royals. But that was until I saw Hassan in the lobbies. Every time Hassan was in the lobby, I knew there was gonna be two hours of him talking to himself. And that was only the amount of time it took Austin to finally start his stream. When the stream was up and running, there was gonna be four more hours of Hassan talking to himself. Nobody understand anything that was going on until somebody <laughs> finally voted him the winner and he could shut up. <laughs> Another person I spent a lot of time with on Austin shows is Cutie Cinderella. Ludwig once said that he loves when Cutie gives him the gawk gawk suction pump soul snatcher. <laughs> but it's not because she's good at head, no. It's just nice when she shuts the fuck up for five minutes. I don't know much about Will Neff, but he does remind me of a golden retriever. He's blonde, he's cheerful, and he's never out of sight of his owner, Hassan. Stavros Halkias. I'm not really sure who you are, but you do look like the type of guy that hugs me for an uncomfortable amount of time at conventions. Stavros. Sasha Gray. I've actually read some of your books. Surprising, right? They're pretty easy for me to understand since your English in writing is just as broken as my English in speaking. You're pretty cute though, so I think you would be even better off just sticking to picture books. <laughs> yes, so two years ago was the first time we met on Austin's show, Love or Host. I remember you became very upset when I picked host on you. I'm sorry, but now when we know each other better, Please don't invite me on your show again. I'm gonna be cost again. <laughs> Jake. We also met for the first time on Austin's show. I remember how excited you were when you asked me if I was Asian. And I also remember how disappointed you got when I said no. I really <laughs> wish this was a joke, but it's not. <laughs> I don't know a lot about Buddha, but from what I can see, he's a GTA RP streamer who spends 10 plus hours every day playing GTA. Buddha, I think you would do yourself a service, Buddha's or like yeah, if you <laughs> exited the strip club, logged off, and talked to some real woman. Buddha's not not on the me, show, Candy. but uh, I'm sure that there's someone. <laughs> but now for the main event. Yeah, fuck you, Buddha. When Austin first yeah, yeah. asked me if I wanted to come on the show and roast Hassan, of course I said yes. Hassan has a very good reputation here on Twitch. But really, I do think he's been getting away with too much for too long. So, he's known as one of the more attractive streamers. But if you think about it, that's not especially hard when you look at his competition. The beauty standards for guys on this site is so low True. that any guy over 5'8 that has a good jawline would be considered a god. <laughs> Since Hassan is considered perfect by so many people, I think this means that he isn't getting enough of constructive criticism. And you know what? I want to change that. I have some tips and tricks for you how to improve yourself and become the man that chat always thinks that you were. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about your sense of style. The whole e-boy look is cool and all, but really, you're a decade too old to be dressing like that. Oh. What man in their 40s is dressing like a teenager selling yules in the school bathroom? Yules. Then we got your hair. You're like the Turkish Lord Farquaad from Shrek. I've never seen anyone choose a hairstyle that frames their five head instead of hiding it. And you know what? I was gonna Google a picture of the Turkish Lord uh, just for reference, but I found a shirt that looks like something you would actually wear. <laughs> I'll send you the link after the show if you're interested. The final bit of advice that I have isn't for Hassan, but for his community. I heard that Hassan claims that he has had sex with over 200 people. Chat, we all know this means that Hassan has had more sex than the entire Twitch chat combined. <sighs> And guys, he still lives with his mother. You know you can do better than this. Maybe if you spent your Friday night nights outside socializing, you could get laid. But instead, you're watching Mommy's Boy getting angry over tweets for nine hours. Hmm. Thank you so much, Hassan, for letting me roast you. It was fun to finally be on a show where you would shut up and let me speak. Also, Austin, thank you so much for having me. My name is Kenny, and this was fun. Don't hate me. Goodbye, everybody. Kenny, ladies and gentlemen.
When give it up for Candyland. Buddha had nothing. When someone no, else, when someone else writes her jokes, she actually sounds really smart. Well, no, you know what? Uh, she's actually educated. Did you know that? <laughs> Candyland is educated, and she's uh, living proof that um, just about anyone can get a degree if they fuck the professor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we practice laughing before the show. Okay. <laughs> Can we laugh louder? I'm serious. In practice, we need to practice laughing a little bit harder, okay? Here's the problem, Austin. We didn't know it was a joke. No, it was. <laughs>